doing great. Oh, good. I was wondering if we could do an award today. I think an award sounds like a great idea. Oh, yay. And I think I have just the one. What? I was thinking we could work on the Seasons Award. Oh, Seasons! Yay! Do you know which season is trampoline season? Summer? Springtime! <laughs> Um, yeah, that does seem to be... <laughs> oh, Katie, did you know that the Bible has something to tell us about seasons and about time? No way! Yeah, do you want to read it? Where? In Ecclesiastes. Oh, yes! Can I read it? Sure. It's okay. in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, and I've got it right here for oh, you. Oh, fantastic! Let's see, Ecclesiastes... Three, one, through eight. Okay, okay. It says, <coughs> There is a time for everything. Whoa. There is a time for everything that is done on earth. There is a time to be born, and there's a time to die. There is a time to plant, and there's a time to pull up what is planted. There is a time to kill, and a time to heal. There's a time to tear down and a time to build up. There's a time to cry and a time to laugh. <laughs> Jokes, that's a type of laugh. Oh, oh, yeah. Good to know. Um, there's a time to be sad and a time to dance. <laughs> there's a time to scatter stones and a time to pick them up. Like when your mom tells you to do it. There's a time to hug and there's a time not to hug. Insert COVID joke here. Um, there's a time to search and a time to stop searching. There's a time to keep and a time to throw away. There's a time to tear and there's a time to mend. There's a time to be silent and there's a time to speak. There's a time to love and there's a time to hate. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace. Wow. That is a lot of times. There is a lot of times, yeah. There's a time for everything under the sun. Like seasons. Like seasons. There's a time to ski and a time to go to the beach. <laughs> You're right. So Ecclesiastes 3.11 says this. It says, he, he being God, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Wow. He has also given people a sense of who he is. But they can't completely understand what God has done from the beginning to the end. Oh, wow. I like that verse. Isn't that a beautiful yeah. verse? You know, one of the things that this verse reminds me of is a butterfly. A yeah. God has made a butterfly beautiful in its time. Yeah, and the butterfly may not know what he's doing while he's in the chrysalis. And then when he comes out, God has made him beautiful. You've got it. Yeah. Because God understands what's going on from the beginning to the end. Oh, I'm glad he does. And I think that it would be really fun to illustrate this verse. And so there's a craft in the classroom that you can do. And you can make a butterfly craft and you can write the verse inside its wings. Oh, that sounds so neat. Yeah, and it will help remind you that God makes everything beautiful in his perfect timing. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, but I want to talk a little bit about seasons. Okay. Okay, do you know what season we're in right now? Um, mud season. We, we are in yeah. mud season. Mud season is um it's part of this other season uh called spring what what happened we used our imaginations and now we're ready for spring it's a little damp in here <laughs> it's a little damp in here isn't it yeah so in the northern hemisphere this right now is springtime but do you know that in the southern hemisphere right now it's fall Wait, what? It's not the same around the world? It isn't the same around the world. So wow. on the top half of the world, 
we had spring well the bottom half of the world is having fall oh cool yeah pretty sweet so there's two ways to figure out when spring starts um when the snow melts when the snow melts that's the third way oh so there are two other ways to figure it out and one is called the astronomical start and that's based on where the sun and the earth are in relation to each other oh okay 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 so the astronomical start of spring is march 20th this year oh wow but then there's this other way to figure out when spring is going to start and that's called the meteorological start oh what is that based on that's based on the 12-month calendar and the annual temperature cycle, so how hot it gets. Oh, when was that? So that spring started March 1st this year. Oh, wow, cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, so do you want to look at summer? Yes, I do. Yeah, it is really cool, isn't it? Yeah, so what happens in spring? So in spring here in New England, it generally is kind of rainy. That's the truth. Lots of rain, lots of mud. But do you know what I love about spring? April showers bring May flowers. That and maple syrup season. Maple syrup season is in the spring. You're right. Have you been making any maple syrup? Did you make any this year? Yes, we collected sap and we burned it down. And now we have yummy, 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 yummy maple syrup from my pancakes. Yeah? Let's see, what else happens in spring? Um, Some of the animals come back. Yeah, birds start coming back. I've been seeing robins and geese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all those birds that that migrated south for the winter so they could stay warm, they're starting to come back. And you can, you can hear them outside chirping and, and singing songs, and they're happy to be back, and we're so excited to have them. Yes, and the snow is all gone now, and the grass is starting to get green. You've got it. And my dad started planting the garden. Yeah, lots of people start planting their gardens early here in Vermont inside because even though it's spring, it's still kind of cold outside. Yeah. So we plant our gardens, we start inside, and then when it gets a little warmer, beginning of summer, we might move them outside. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Anything else that you could think of that happens in spring? Um... Um, hmm. Well, one of the things I would tell you that happens is we get a lot of rain and sometimes there's some flooding that happens in spring. Yes, that does happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flooding happens because the snow is melting, but we're also getting rain and there isn't always some place for it all to go. Right. Yeah. So that happens, but all that water gives us nice green grass too. Yes. So that's good. And if we don't get a lot of rain, then in the summer, the crops that the farmers are planting, they have a hard time growing. Oh, that's true. So spring is really pretty important. Yes, and I guess so. I guess I'll put up with the mud. Yeah, the mud and the rain. The mud and the rain are so important during the springtime. I guess. All right, shall we move on to summer? Oh, yes, I love summer! Summer is so much fun. What's what? your point? This Becky, what happened? We're in summer. Oh, do you feel the sun on your face? It's so warm. Oh, I like summer. Yeah, look, it's beautiful oh. outside. Look at my dress. Yeah, you're wearing a watermelon. It's a watermelon. Oh, it looks so good. I could eat it. Mm. Yum. I one love of, watermelon. One of the really fun things about summer is all the good food we get to eat. Watermelon Yum. and fresh vegetables. And oh. we can have cookouts. Oh, yeah. And campfires. Oh, I love campfires. And camping. Oh, I love camping, too. Yeah. And swimming. And going to the beach. And hiking. And bike rides. And picnics. Oh, it's just all so much fun. Yeah. And gardening. gardening. And weeding the garden. 
not so fun. No, but it's an important thing that we need to do if we have a garden. I guess it's true. Yeah, otherwise the weeds will take over in the summer. Weeds don't taste as good as fresh vegetables. That's true. So summer is a really important season. Summer is the season where we can grow crops and mm -hmm. we can be outside and get good vitamin D. Ooh, yeah. And we have lots of fun in the summer because it's warm and sunny and we can enjoy really being outside. I too love summer. So remember I told you that there were two ways to figure out when summer or when spring started and the same is true for summer. Oh wow! So the astronomical start of summer is June 20th in the northern hemisphere. Oh that's next month! Yeah! Wow! But the meteorological summer start in the northern hemisphere is June 1st. Oh that's like next week! Yeah! Whoa! It's almost here! It's almost here! Summer's almost here but guess what? What? In the southern hemisphere it's not summer. What is it? It's winter. Oh, wow. So they're not going to the beach. They are not going to the beach. They're putting on their winter coats and their winter boots and their snow pants. Wow. And they're skiing while we're going to the beach. Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, so if you ever get sick of summer, you just have to go to the opposite side of the globe and you can have winter. Like the southern half. The southern half. Oh, okay. So not like around, but down. Down. Yep. Okay. You okay. Got it. Got it. All right. All right. So why do you think that is? Why is it that the northern half of the globe has summer and the winter half, the bottom half has winter at the same time? Um, um, I, I bet it has to do with where the sun is on the globe. It does, yeah. yeah. So the Earth is tilted at a 23 degree axis. Did you oh. know that? No. Yeah, so the Earth is tilted a little bit instead of being straight up and down. Oh. And so when the sun shines on the Earth, when it's tilted like that, part of the Earth gets more sun than the other part. Oh, and is that why our days get longer and shorter with the seasons? You've got it. Oh, wow. And it's also why when it's summer here in the northern hemisphere, there's no nighttime in the Arctic. Oh, because it's always in the sun. Right. It's wow. always in the sun. Oh, wow. But because it's winter in the southern hemisphere, it's always in the dark. Oh, that sounds cold. Yeah, it sounds really cold. Wow. So you have to remember that, that whatever season it is here, it's the opposite season in the Southern Hemisphere. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. Yeah. All right, do you know what the next season is? Fall. You're right. The next season <gasps> in the Northern Hemisphere is fall. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. I like fall. There's lots of colors on the trees mm -hmm. and the temperature is perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect hiking weather. It's mm -hmm. really good hiking weather. Yeah. And there's pumpkin snuff here. <gasps> Pumpkins. And oh, it's fair season. And the fair, yeah. I love going to the fair. You know what else happens in the fall? Harvest? Harvest happens in the fall. So all the good food from all the hard work we did in the summer and the planting we did in the spring. Apples! Uh, apples! There's lots of apples! I love apples! There are apples, yeah. We go apple picking. And make applesauce. Make applesauce. And in other parts of the country, food is getting, uh, is ripe and getting ready to be picked there too. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? Yeah! So fall is the season where we start wrapping up the growing seasons um, oh, and bringing yeah. things in because we know that the next season, which is winter, is coming soon. Oh, And we want yeah. to be prepared. Okay, so when does fall start? And so fall starts in the astronomical calendar. It starts September 22nd. Oh, wow. And in the meteorological calendar, it starts September 1st. 
Oh, I'm starting to see a pattern. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, I think there is a bit of a pattern. It's about a 20-day span between the two calendars. Yeah, well, and the meteorological always starts on the first of a month. You're right. Yeah. It sure does. And the astronomical one, that one changes a little bit. A little bit. From month to month. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what else happens in the fall? Um, hay rides. Um... Cider and donut socials. Yeah, and school. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about school. And school starts back up in the fall where we go to learn new things and we're in another grade and that's really exciting That too. is exciting, yeah. Yeah. I like fall. I like fall too. Yeah. What's next? Well, we only have one season we haven't talked about. <gasps> Do you know what it is? I think I do. What is it? Ski season. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The next. Oh. <laughs> it's a Miss little Becky? cold out. Someone forgot to pay the heating bill. <laughs> well, no. In winter, it gets cold. Whoa. So here in northern New England, in winter, it gets really cold. It can get down. I've seen it down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa! Really, really cold that is sometimes. Cold. That's not a great day to go skiing. No. Or sledding or skating. Oh, so many fun things to do during winter. There are so many fun things to do. Snowshoeing, cross country skiing. Yeah. Dog sledding. I don't do that, but I've seen it and it's a lot of fun. And camping. Um, no. <laughs> you just wait. When you get a little bit older, there's a Pathfinder Award called Winter Camping. <gasps> that sounds cold! It is a little cold, but it also is a lot of fun. Well, you have to bring the right kind of equipment. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You can't bring your summer sleeping bag. No, I guess not. So in winter, we don't do a lot of, of outdoor activities like we do in summer like we're not outside swimming or those no. kind of things and the ground and the and the environment is really dormant because it's so cold it is cold it's it's like it's resting the leaves are off the trees there's nothing growing in the gardens but some plants um people who have have grown plants throughout the year they can cover their plants up with straw outside and keep plants that are root vegetables in their garden through much of the winter. Oh, like carrots and potatoes? Yeah, like carrots and, and potatoes. You've got it. Exactly. Oh, wow. And that's really kind of cool. That is cool. So winter starts on December 21st in the astronomical calendar. Oh, wow. And it starts, guess when, in the meteorological calendar. December 1st. You are right. Wow. So in winter, the days tend to be really short here in northern New England because we're closer to the North Pole, and the North Pole has no daylight, and so we get less daylight here than on the other side of the Earth. I noticed that. It gets dark a lot sooner in wintertime. It sure does. Yeah. And in summer, the days here are really, really long. Yeah, like sometimes till 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. But that's different. If you're really close to the equator, the, the daylight time doesn't change that much. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it wow. just depends on where you live. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's what I have to tell you all about the seasons. Those are pretty cool, huh? Yes. Did you learn anything new? Yes. Yeah, I didn't realize that there were different ways to tell when seasons were, like the astronomical versus the meteorological. That's new. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I didn't know that there were different seasons around the world. I didn't know that either. That was new, too. That was really cool. Yeah, I think it is really cool. And it's really cool that God made the world to have different times and seasons and that there are times and seasons for everything that we do. Yes. So that is th cool. This is what I thought would be really fun. Oh, cool. What? Okay. So I thought that, you know how we change for different seasons? Yeah. 
I thought it would be really fun if we got all the adventurers that were doing the seasons award to change and into different seasons for where they live. So you mean change their clothes? Yeah. So like, oh, like it, kind of have like a a season charades. Yeah. So oh. like, if you live in Florida, you might not wear this in the winter because it would still be probably that a would little, be warm. It'd be warm. Yeah. So it would be cool to see what everyone else wears in the different seasons. Oh yeah. How are we gonna do that? I was thinking we could do it on the Goose Chase app. Oh! The goose what? The goose chase app. Are we chasing geese? No, the goose chase app is a scavenger hunt app. It's a photo scavenger hunt. So what you can do is you can get all your props and your siblings or your parents if they want to participate and you take a big picture of all of you together and then you can post it to the goose chase app. Oh, wow! And That's then you cool. can go on and you can see what other people posted too. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. That sounds pretty fun, doesn't Louis? it? Louie! Louie! You have to download the app and play the game with me! We can wait. All right, let's say goodbye and we'll go get that started. Okay. All right. I might throw these skis at you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Bye, skis. Bye! Bye.